I'm going to say this. It's going to be relatively controversial. I don't care. I want Ezekiel Elliott suspended for four games for stupid, <clears throat> if no other reason. I think the time has come where we have to start holding individuals accountable just for finding yourself in those situations. I firmly believe that. I know that sounds cruel. That is cruel. Let me explain. He reduced let, it to four. Let, let, me, let me explain. Let me explain why. I totally agree with where you're coming from. And I totally agree with where you're coming from. Here's my problem. We know what it is. And on far too many occasions, we get caught up in the way things should be. We don't focus enough on the way things are. But we are victimized by the way things are. We can't have it both ways. Allow me to bring up the word, the name Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy was suspended for 10 games. What happened? What happened was is that it got reduced to four games. Why did it get reduced to four games? Because the policy on domestic violence that was implemented came after his incident in question where he was found guilty by a judge in the state of North Carolina before he exercised his right to be heard by a jury and the case was ultimately thrown out because the witness was uncooperative and inaccessible. My point to you is that because of what I just highlighted, that's why his suspension got reduced from four, from 10 to four. Because the way things are is that the policy was implemented after the crime. So because of it, Roger Goodell didn't, couldn't retroactively institute the penalty, and it worked for Greg Hardy. Everybody sat up there and said, oh, but they let it go. Because, all right, this is what it was. So if that's what it was, let's take into account what is the situation with Ezekiel Elliott. July, 6th, July 17th, 19th, and 21st. Five separate, I'm not talking one, because I do understand and I'm very sensitive to that. If it's once, one day, one incident or whatever, we don't know the facts. So as a result, excuse me, this is the one time it happened. He has one story, she has another. But when you have five separate incidences in three specific days, my issue is how the hell you find yourself in that situation another four times? Mm -hmm. Four times. Four times you found but yourself. The stupidity, so, so, as you describe it, happened before he ever got to the NFL. When no, 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 no. It was after he was drafted. He was drafted, and so he was a member of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, technically, so, yes. Let, yeah. let, me, let me tell you why it's not technical. From the time that you're drafted, you got OTAs, don't you? Yeah. You show up to practice. You show up to the team facility. You might have went back to Ohio State. You might have went back to Columbus, Ohio. But you went back as a member of the Dallas Cowboys, as an employee of the National Football League. You absolutely positively knew because of Ray Rice, Greg Hardy, Ray McDonald, and the list goes on and on. You knew. Right. In other words, even you if she's, knew. even if, even if it was a case hypothetically right. where there was a player right. and there's someone he's involved with and they're just making stuff right. up. If even if that were the case, right. by the second or third time, right. by the first time they make something, you that's, be out of there. That's where we're going. I'm not, in no way am I saying because I know what you're thinking as a player. Anybody can walk up and accuse Absolutely. you of anything. Totally. Anybody, get it. I can, that, you can, is, we can all be accused. Which is of why. Something. Which is why. It, that's right. Us included. Which right. is why I said. I'm not talking about the one incident. I'm talking about the what my the accumulation. And that's if he yeah. didn't. Do that's it. right. If he that's didn't, if he didn't, that's if he didn't. Do it. That's a very good point. Four, there was some other questionable behavior that they didn't count, but it still doesn't help. Four different other times, and then on top Either of you're it guilty all, or you're stupid. It's, it's like right. you're guilty or you're stupid. And so what I'm saying is. This, it's I perfectly say within the purview of the NFL to say, hey, you represent our brand. You got to think more about us to avoid this stuff at all costs. I think